My name is Ziyin Kiet. I'm a senior medical oncologist at the Parkway Cancer Centre in Singapore. I'm based at the Mount Elizabeth Hospital at Orchard. Well, that's an important question because gastric cancer, as it stands, is one of the 10 most common cancers worldwide. And in India, it stands as the third most common cancer in men, as well as women, in the year 2013. The mainstay of treatment for gastric cancer in its early stages is, in fact, the use of surgery, often combined with chemotherapy and, in some instances, with radiation therapy. Whilst this has been the backbone of treatment for patients with gastric cancer, significant advancements have also been made in as far as the use of targeted therapies as well as, more recently, immunotherapy. Speaking of targeted therapies in particular, we know that about 10 to 15 percent of patients with advanced gastric cancer harbour an aberration in their genetic makeup in the form of a molecule known as HER2. And for patients with this type of gastric cancer, the use of a targeted therapy in the form of Herceptin has actually significantly improved patient outcomes as far as advanced disease is concerned. And even within the past one to two years, with the advent of cancer immunotherapy, patients with advanced gastric cancer can also be treated with this form of medicines to further enhance their outcomes. How cancer immunotherapy works, in fact, is through the activation or stimulation of one's own immune system to target and attack the cancer cells. So medical tourism in Singapore is actually a significant uh, and important sector. And this is actually driven by the fact that Singapore has a good reputation for having well-developed infrastructure, a clean environment, and specific to healthcare facilities, Singapore also is known to have advanced infrastructure, medical technology, and also expertise in as far as the doctors, allied health professionals are concerned. And this is actually reflected in the fact that the figures in as far as medical tourism, patients coming to Singapore for treatment are concerned has risen year on year. And even quite recently, the latest statistic is that some 400,000 patients seek health care from overseas in Singapore. So Parkway Cancer Centre prides itself as being a one-stop centre for the management of patients who have been diagnosed with cancer. Cancer is itself a very complex condition and requires actually the input of uh, various doctors in as far as obtaining the optimal outcome for patients is concerned. I am a medical oncologist, which means that I use medicines in the treatment of patients with cancer. But medicines alone are not necessarily the be-all and end-all of treatment. We often combine different treatment modalities to achieve optimal outcomes, and this would also include surgery, radiation therapy, and even beyond the disease itself, we have to look at the patient's overall well-being as far as nutrition is concerned, as far as their psychological health is concerned, and therefore it's important that within the Parkway Cancer Centre setup, we work also with our dietitians, with our uh, psychologists and counsellors, to help guide patients and also for patients who seek health care in Singapore from overseas and the sort of challenges in as far as coming from their hometown, linguistic challenges are concerned, we are also able to help to address these issues in as far as the uh, patient assistance is concerned. Uh, Parkway actually within PCC has their own uh, translators and we also have a patient assistance centre to actually help patients even from their home cities or countries where we have representatives to then facilitate the transfer of patients to Singapore and even to help them settle down when they have arrived in Singapore for treatment. Well, again, this is treatment in a multidisciplinary approach whereby the doctors from various specialties, including medical oncology, which is where I'm based, uh, and also surgical oncology, radiation oncology, work together as a team to help to deliver care for patients. And as far as medical treatments for cancer is concerned, we are now able to not just deliver treatment with chemotherapy, but also targeted therapy and immunotherapy. And Singapore is well known for its early access to one of some of the latest drugs which have been approved uh, through the clinical trial data.